you know, there are moments where even someone like me, who is somewhat prone to exaggeration, overexcitement, ranting mania perhaps, still thinks, you've got to be kidding me. And now is one of those times. I have just seen pictures of the Muslim community police vehicle. It's an actual police vehicle. It has the kind of badging of the NYPD. The gentleman who's running this Muslim community patrol is dressed as a police officer. The car is parked out the 72nd precinct uh, of the police station. And this is a new patrol service. These guys say that think of them like uh, community patrols, but on steroids. Neighbourhood watch, but on steroids, says Noor Rabar, the group's 31-year-old vice president. As with normal things like this, of course, it's all come from donations. It's all money that's just appeared on the scene. And these guys intend to work in shifts. They t intend to patrol uh, Islamic schools in Brooklyn, mostly near the mosques and buses and subway stops, where there are large Muslim population. This is in America in 2019. A patrol service with no authority whatsoever, masquerading in the same kind of vehicles as the NYPD, calling themselves Muslim Community Patrol. Just how far are you, America, from religious policing? And what will this community police service mean for young girls, for example? For, if I think about the UK example, grooming gangs, where young girls go to the police for help. What if they bump into someone from the Muslim Community Patrol? What then? Will they get the help they need? Or will they get the very opposite? Sometimes I even surprise myself, and I'm not very easily surprised.